Hey guys, Stickman here with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to erase or delete the eSIM off your iPhone. In this tutorial, we have the iPhone 14 Pro here, but essentially any phone that has eSIM or you activate it through eSIM that you would like to remove that eSIM because either you're transferring it over to another phone or you're changing carriers or if you're going to sell trade in or give away your iPhone you may need to do that so that phone is not active with your line of course if you do a full erase it will also remove it but we're going to show you just how you can remove the eSIM itself now be careful before doing this. The one thing is that if you do this, it's gonna you're gonna lose phone service unless your carrier told you to do it. Don't do this, or if you are absolutely sure, because once you do this, your SIM card will be removed and you'll have to reactivate it again. So, first thing is go into settings again. We're gonna go to settings, and then once you go to settings, you're gonna go to cellular. And then once you go to cellular, you'll see this option where you said delete eSIM. Now you can add another eSIM already before you have one but we're going to delete this existing one which is on Verizon network so we click on delete eSIM and then here's a quick little warning message before you delete it as you can see once you delete this eSIM your cellular plan um, again will not work and it will be gone from here so you'll see this come up you still have to call your carrier to have your plan cancelled but basically removing the eSIM from this phone so you can put it on another another eSIM or so so you hit that delete and then it'll say one more time again eSIM will not delete any of your other data just the cellular activation data so you do that you hit it one more time and we just wait here just making sure one more time we again as you can see here sometimes you might have to do it twice as you saw here i'm not cutting that out here just to show you and once you've removed it if you go to cellular and then you can go ahead and add the next one if you're setting up a new phone but if you're not if you're giving it of course don't do this as you can see you can transfer using your another phone or if you have a qr code from your carrier you can activate another eSIM. so that's how you erase and delete an eSIM. again hopefully this quick little video was helpful if so Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.